Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another reaction video and we are gonna check out a video called Five Real Prison Jail Escapes Caught on Camera. So yeah, I'm not gonna rumble anything. Let's get straight into this video. Got to lock the door. To Forgot to lock the three door? Three inmates that escape prison dressed as guards. Here are five real prison breaks caught on camera. Number one, Derek Estelle. 34-year-old Derek Estelle was arrested in 2013 after stealing a car and evading police. Never heard of Derek, you guys. The police chase oh. ended in a standoff that involved the SWAT team and tear gas. A week prior to wow. his arrest, he was also involved in a bank robbery. He was held on 26 charges in total, including aggravated robbery, burglary, theft, breaking and entering, and fleeing. Over the next couple of months, Estelle, with the help of his mother, girlfriend, and her stepdad, began... Why do they look alike? They look like modern art. Like they're... Or is it just me? Wow. To plan how he would make his escape. On July 28, 2013, he was transferred to the Garland County Jail following a court appearance. This CCTV video footage catches Estelle using the inmate's phone while talking to his mother. He then quickly drops the phone and dives straight through the jail's open reception window and runs out the front door. No way. No way! <laughs> Estelle then jumped into a waiting car and sped away. Tamara Upshaw, Estelle's girlfriend, was later revealed to be the driver of the getaway vehicle. Investigators say Upshaw's stepdad, William Harding, distracted the deputies and diverted their attention to the other side of the booking room, giving Estelle the perfect opportunity to escape. Estelle's mother was eventually arrested for her part in the escape after investigators listened to their phone conversations and heard her say, are the shackles off? And are there two or three? Less than a month after the escape, Estelle and his girlfriend were found in a home in Arkansas and were arrested. In 2015, Estelle pleaded guilty to his charges and was sentenced to 32 years in prison. His girlfriend was sentenced Whoa. to three years for her part in the escape. Whoa! She don't look... In this picture, she okay. The two others involved are currently awaiting trial. Number 2. Tori T. Smith in 2009, 31-year-old Tori T. Smith was arrested for aggravated battery on her boyfriend. She was brought into a New Orleans jail for processing. She was only in the jail for about two hours before she saw an opportunity to escape. In the surveillance footage that was captured at the Orleans Parish Prison, we can see an unidentified guard entering the jail and slowly closing the door. However, it turns out that he didn't lock the door that he came in. He then asks another jail worker to buzz him through. We then see the guard open and walk through the door inside the jail, and for a second time he doesn't lock the door. Just out of frame, Tori T. Smith has seen what has just happened and asks if she can go to the bathroom. She then begins to make her escape from the jail. She quickly walks straight through both doors without anyone noticing and starts running down the side of the jail. I mean, can you blame her? She then scales a fence before moving out of sight of the camera. Tori was found and rearrested just 24 hours later in a New Orleans apartment building. She was rebooked into the jail on the battery charge as well as an additional simple escape charge. How could he not know? Like, what? What? Number three, it's crazy. Rocky Marquez. Rocky Marquez was jailed in 2010 on many charges, including forgery, witness tampering, DUI, misconduct involving weapons, and drug offenses. The 34-year-old was incarcerated in a Phoenix prison, where he befriended an inmate that was close to being released. Somehow, Marquez convinced the inmate to swap ID wristbands with him so he could get out instead. He then simply walked out of the prison. Marquez went on Anyone tell me, please. ...on the run and wasn't found for eight months until his car was tracked down in Detroit. Eight months? He was then locked up in a Detroit prison. Unbelievably, Rocky Marquez escaped prison for its second time using exactly the same method. In the surveillance footage, we can see how he just casually walks out without anyone asking any questions. Authorities didn't even notice that Rocky had escaped until a full five days later. I mean After just over a month, he was found in Mexico and was swiftly deported back to the U.S. Oh. 
In 2014, Rocky Marquez pleaded guilty to many offenses, including conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute 1,000 kilograms of marijuana and conspiracy wow. to commit money laundering. On July 28, 2014, he received an 18-year sentence. Number 4. Chinese Prison Break On September 2, 2014, Gao Yulen, Li Haiwei, and Wang Demin escaped from a prison in Yanshu County, northwest of China. All three men were in prison for very violent crimes, including murder. 50-year-old Gao Yulen had been given the death penalty. The three wow. inmates teamed up and began to come up with an escape plan. At 6 a.m., a guard named Duan took Gao Yulan to an interrogation room as he requested to make a phone call. Once inside, Yulan began to strangle Duan to death. The other two men then rushed into the room Whoa. and grabbed keys out of Duan's pocket and used them Whoa. to steal police uniforms. All three men then put the uniforms on and walked out of the prison one by one. Whoa. Police offered a $20,000 reward for any information that would lead to the recapture of the escapees. The three men were quickly recaptured and apprehended within 10 days of the escape. Oh. On November 13th, Gao Yulin and Wang Demin were both sentenced to death for their killing of a prison guard, and Li Haiwei was sentenced to life imprisonment for his part in the escape. That's crazy. Three guards were also given prison sentences in November of 2015, ranging from three to six years for their abuse of power, as one guard ordered to reduce patrol and monitoring frequency at the prison. Another guard was found guilty as he was responsible for the lack of supervision of police outfits, and the final guard had fallen asleep on the day of the escape. Number 5. El Chapo 58-year-old Joaquin Guzman, also known as El Chapo, is a Mexican drug lord and founder of the Sinaloa Cartel, described by the U.S. government as the most powerful drug trafficking organization in the world. Since 1989, the Sinaloa Cartel have trafficked high amounts of drugs from South America to the United States and beyond. Much of their success has been due to their smuggling methods, one of which involved air-conditioned tunnels that ran onto the Mexican border. Guzman hired many men to protect himself and his empire that are allegedly responsible for over a thousand deaths. In 1993, mm -hmm. Guzman was arrested and sentenced to 20 He's years in a it. Mexican maximum security prison. However, in 2001, Guzman escaped prison via a laundry cart by bribing officials and guards, including the prison's own warden. A free man once again, Guzman continued to run and grow his drug empire. In 2009, it was reported that his cartel Sheesh. was making an estimated $3 billion a year. El Chapo became the U.S. government's number one drug target and offered a $5 million reward for his arrest. In 2014, authorities tracked him down in a Mexican hotel and arrested him again. Mexican President Enrique Pena Nieto declined the U.S. government's request to have Guzman extradited to the United States and explained that there was no way he would escape again. On July 11, 2015, Guzman escapes from a Mexican maximum security prison again. However, this time he doesn't even have to leave his cell. The CCTV footage shows Guzman pacing up and down in his cell. He then moves towards his shower section, crouches down, and appears to vanish. It was later revealed that there had been a mile-long tunnel dug directly under the prison that Guzman was able to use to escape. This footage shows just how well-made the tunnel network was, equipped with artificial light, air vents, and even a motorcycle that is believed to have been used to carry materials or possibly transport Guzman himself. Footage from Guzman's cell was released in October 2015 that includes audio and shows just how loud the digging of the tunnel was and may actually prove without a doubt that the prison guards allowed the escape to happen. Let him do his thing! I'm
El Chapo is currently on the run. The U.S. government are once again offering a reward of up to $5 million for his arrest and conviction. Thanks for watching. If you Sheesh, that was the video, you guys. Like this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below other videos you want me to check out. Subscribe and all the good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.